All right. This is a 10 minute booty burner. So all you're going to need is your booty band. I like to use the hard one. Might as well. All right. So warm up. If you haven't already, get those legs swinging. You never want to go into anything ever, ever with cold joints. I've already recorded two videos, so I'm kind of having, passing the one up there a little bit. All right. What's your band on? I like to put my band right above my knees. Like this. Okay. Same drill that we've been doing. If you've watched the other 10 minute videos, we're doing 30 seconds of work, 10, uh, 15 seconds rest in between. Uh oh, wrong thing. Let's see. Okay. Are you ready? Got your band on. I'm going to hit start. Let's get this going. All right, first up is side steps. If you walk, got the room, you can go all the way around the room or you can just side step like this. One thing to think about, get your glutes engaged before you ever start, like kind of flex. People say, what do engage me? They just don't want you to be like, you know, really, you should feel it every step. That booty and hips are working. Got three seconds. All right, next up is gonna be monster walks. So monster walks, kind of like side steps, but you're gonna step forward up at an angle. So we got five seconds still. All right, here we go. Again, make it tough for yourself. I have a couple of people that they can do these deep booty band things and it like doesn't hurt at all. So my only guess is that they are not really Engaging their glutes. You got 12 seconds. 10. Woo, this one lights up my hips. Five seconds. I'm going to add it right here. Three, two, one. All right. We're going to do kickbacks. If you have a chair or something to hold on to, this might be a good idea. I should have told you to grab some. But if you don't, you just hold your balance like me. Kickbacks. All right. Let's see what all I was doing. All right, yeah, so we're going to do this for 15 seconds because we're going to do the other side. All right, other way. Woo! You should feel this more like upper butt. Five. All these moves are just getting glued just a little bit different. And time. All right. Now this one, kind of like kickbacks, except you're coming back at like a 45 degree angle. So instead of straight back, you're kind of to the side and back. And that's going to hit. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel where it hits. <laughs> Starting in one. Here we go. So it's a little more right here. Other leg. A lot of times the standing leg gets tired too because you're <laughs> leaning into it. That's okay. Five, four. All right. Last one of the standing. We're going to do air squats. So pull the tension, step like shoulder width, a little bit farther than shoulder width apart, and then pull your knees over your feet to create that tension. And you're going to keep that there. We're going to squat. Woo. Don't let those knees cave in. Keep the attention. 20 seconds. 15. 12. 8. 3. And time. All right. We're going to lie on the floor now. Keep that band done. Oh, I think we'll get a minute break. I think we do. Okay. So grab a drink. Let that booty rest a little bit back so you can see. Okay, a minute.
45 seconds. All right, while you're doing these on the ground, I want you to think about that weight on your heels. I even usually leave my toes up off the ground to ensure that I'm pushing through my heels. And then your foot placement. But first, we're going to do glute bridge. So if you're too far out, it feels a little weird. If you're too close, it can be too easy. So just kind of somewhere in the middle and wait on your heels. We're going to start that in 15 seconds. So you got just like on the squats, you got to remember to keep that tension pulled apart to really maximize the effort here. All right, starting. All right, here we go. Tension, big squeeze at the top, weights on your heels. Big booty squeeze. Don't let that tension cave in. Keep it tough. You got eight seconds. Big squeeze. And time. All right. Next, we're going to just relax your back. We're going to be doing induction. So you're just going to pull apart your knees. Starting in two. All right. So you're just pulling apart. Big hip work. Pull it apart and then fight that tension as it don't just let your knees slam back together. Tie in a little bit. Woo, big burn. 15 seconds. Five, three, two, one. All right, I call this a stagger stance glute raise. So one foot's closer, one foot's out, just kind of like a kickstand. Create the tension with your knee, and you're just going to come up. So it's basically a single leg glute raise, and it's the leg that's the foot that's closer, that's the leg that's working the most. All right, create the tension. Don't forget to let those knees pull apart. Big work. We're staying all on one side. Big glute squeeze at the top. Eight seconds. Pull those knees apart. And time. All right, 15 second break, and then we're doing the other side. Starting in three. Pull those knees apart. Here we go. Big squeeze at the top. Three, two, one, and time. All right. Last but not least, we're doing a pulse. So pull those knees apart. Weights on your heels. I'm getting the time where I can see it. We're going to do little baby pulses for 10 seconds way up high. All right. So push your booty way up high and pulse for 10. Three more seconds up there. We're going to pulse down low coming up next. All right, now down low, pulse. Just a little pulse. Five more seconds here. And then we're going to do the full range of motion for the last 10. All right, full range of motion, nice and quick. Ooh, that's a burn. Five, three, two, one. Oh. Get that thing off. All right, good. Job. So that was about a little under 10 minutes. Okay, now you stretch it out, you foam roll it out. If you've got the time, you can always hit repeat and do another 10.